Oh no! How's it all going for y'all? As you can find, as you can see, wallpaper is up. Dramatic purple and brick effect wallpaper. Yay! Finally, I was going to be filming this a while ago, but um, uh, I've had vocal issues. I'm still suffering from it now. My voice isn't exactly the greatest right now, and it's uh, killing me. This was going to be a bit of a was supposed to be a longer one. Getting segmented up, but um, at this moment in time, I'm just gonna just bash everything together and just keep it all as one. Because I was gonna try and segment away the rugby league stuff to the union, the rugby union portion. I'm gonna classify or call state of the union. Simple. Um, so eventually, once I do start doing more of these scrum news updates and stuff like that, there is gonna be segments where it is gonna be kind of like more a starting and there's going to be more stuff mainly around league and wigan and whatever else is in the news if i can find anything else on the news to do with it or as well with union so state of the union because there's the the two do intertwine because the players do go cross code and things like that and some teams do use the same stadiums at times as well or things like that so um yeah specifically what's going on at the moment with this virus everything seems to pile in together so with that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to basically be pausing you every now and then just to um, roll through on the things because the news pages aren't loading up so i have to do it page by page rather than having the pages pre-opened i've just got to do them page by page so there will be moments where it's going to look a bit cut but that's because i am basically having to put you guys on pause while i work out the pagings now at the moment the first thing that crops up it says i'm just going to just give you a quick brief of what i can see on my uh starter page here so straight away that we've got the challenge cup final is going to be uh punk's boat along with warrington signing an ex-australia star as well so there's that along with a couple of other bits and pieces though by the way yes again i am using the bbc news uh website for the sports just because Again, it is easier for me to find the stuff on there. So I will just quickly open that page and see. Right, so they say that they are going to be postponing the uh, Challenge Cup final, uh, basically postponing the Wembley showpiece, but they are hoping to be able to complete the competition. Now, me personally, I don't really know whether we're going to be able to do it because if we are going to be starting the league feasibly, end of june into july most likely into july really i don't know how we're going to be able to fit all of the league games well all of those games plus then bringing in the cup games i don't know how we're going to do it especially because we are only going to have a very small period of time now to be able to crunch everything together so there is going to be a little bit of basically it's going to get very congested so teams are going to struggle with this i feel because normally the final would have been taking place on the 18th of july at wembley now again leading into the last video i did uh comments down below if we didn't have it at wembley for the final where would you like it to be would you like it to be up in manchester so at old trafford at the etihad would you want it in newcastle like the magic weekend would you want to take it up to scotland and take it to Murrayfield or wherever. Would you want to take it to Cardiff and have it at the Millennium Stadium near the Principality? Would you want it to be in other London stadiums? So would you say like Spurs' new ground or would you say the Emirates? Maybe even take it into the Midlands and have it at like Wolverhampton or at Molyneux or have it at Villa Park or St Andrews. Hell, you know, take it to Leicester if we could. I know the main capacity and things like that for finals is always the main thing and especially with Wembley being the 90,000 uh, seat arena and things like that and that but we do have Twickenham which is about 80 odd but some people still feel it doesn't quite work especially with the NFL thing that's been going on with that so I'll leave that one to you guys to think about where would you also think when feasibly do you think it is going to restart because we are now going into late mid of May and June is creeping up on us so when do you guys Reckon we are going to be restarting again down below, please. Information is always helpful. So where would you like it to be and when do you think we're going to be doing it? Now, again, I don't know. 
being in Greater Manchester and things like that with the finals and stuff like that, it to me Old Trafford does have that feel to it because I've always seen the the end of them there on TV. Uh, Wembley being the final as well for that with is the, the national stadium for that and it does pay for it because it is a multi role stadium. So there is that. So I don't really know, but I think the league is going to commence somewhere most likely in July. And there is the possibility that we may not even complete the Challenge Cup for that. Now, as for the Warrington story, which I will be covering very briefly, they have signed Greg Inglis. So Warrington Wolves have signed the former Australian star. So the former Australian star, Greg Inglis, is to come out of retirement to join the Super League side for a one-year deal next season. So he's played 39 tests for Australia, won 10 State of Origin series for with Queensland, and he took the 2014 NRL title with the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So, class player, class player. Basically, for Super League over here, we do need players of his stature and calibre, we do need them to be in. It's a bit of a mix and match, especially with what's going on with having Toronto in and then going to be having possibly New York and some of the other teams are going to be around the North of America and the Canadian or Northern state in America area coming through. So there's going to be all of that. There's a lot of bits and pieces in with that from what I can see here. There's also, right, the Hull FC winger, and this is something that's just cropped up as well on my thing, of Ratu Nulago. So for, Wool, for Hull FC, sorry, uh, the winger is going to join Bristol Bears in a cross-code move. So he will be, again, taking over in the Premiership or Rugby Union site. So he basically he only joined the Hull this season. Well, no, last season, sorry. So he basically, so he's Fijian. I know I'm muddling up. I am trying to do this as well while I've still got my voice. So sorry if I'm rushing through all of this and everything else. And I know I'm not going to be as loud as I was last time because sometimes when I catch myself on playback, I am a bit too loud. So, you know, but he has done a lot of things. He's a good player from what I can see because he has... Uh, so it's a switch back to Union because he's previously won Premiership 7 titles with Saris. Uh, so he would like to thank Hull FC for the opportunity that they gave to him professional rugby. And he's loved the, his time over at the club. So he's going back to Union. So it seems like he's had a... Uh, I think his start was in Union, judging from what I can see on here. So I'm just brushing over everything. So... There's a bit of back and forth going on as well with the possibilities, like some like how players of certain religions would deal with Ramadan or things like that. There's a couple of quizzes going on. I'm not going to take that quiz because I've already tried it and I am absolutely rubbish. And that. And obviously a story from a week ago is that Niall Avalds, so the Salford Red Devils fullback is going to be leaving the club at the end of the season. So they, the club says that they're extremely disappointed that fullback Avalds is has decided to leave the club. But it looks like, let's see, where is he going? So he's been strongly linked with going to Castlefield Tigers. Now because it's all suspended, no one knows what's actually going on. And we are getting drip fed stories like that all the time. Now, to bring it back to Wigan, if you got a chance to get hold of some of these players, would you? What players, what players out there in the ether would you pick up? Would you drop into some of the union lads who might be wanting a shot at a different pace of game and have a try somewhere else? Where do you do that? Would you spread it out more internationally and look at a couple of Aussies or New Zealanders or get some Fijians in there? Would you take it abroad and see if you could get some Canadians or Americans in there? You know, since American football at the moment as well, there is a bit of a thing going on where they do like to bring in rugby coaches 
to work on their tackle skill. Especially rugby players or Aussie rule players are good for kicking. So their punt run and their kick run, they are good for that, especially with the strength of the foot and everything like that. Plus, with some of the players that we have out here in certain positions, they're good as either the receiver to run or just the standard running back. Because when you get the ball in this game, you'll truck and truck and truck and take the hit. Whereas out there, you get the ball lobbed at you or gently passed into you. And then you then move. But because within our game, it's a bit different. So because when you get the ball passed over to you, you're already in either a steady motion to move or you're already on flight. So there's always going to be that. So how would you do it? Or even would you try and see if you could like create a dream team and poach some players from some of your rivals? So there's that as well as... Now again, I'm going to keep asking some of these questions as well. So my final question, again, before I forget, com comment down below on any of that. And the final thing is, how would we be able to create more atmosphere back in the stadium? Because from what I'm reading from some people's complaints, especially while I'm scanning around and things like that, and going through other people's videos on YouTube and stuff, how would you like it to go that way? I'm not really going to run into anything to do with Union this time, just because it's going to take me forever to load the pages up because BBC Sport website is deciding to have a poo all the time. So, and I don't exactly know how long my voice is going to last. So, how would we be able to bring in more atmosphere in the stadium? What do we need to have more things? Because it's like, whilst I was there for a few times, we had those flamer pods going off. So we had the flame cannons going up all the time. Do we need to have that? Do we need to have someone on the corners and stuff like that to try and G up the crowd? Do we need to have people moving about a bit more? Do we need to have something up on the screens if we can get a hold of stuff? Do we need to have more lights flicking around? Do we need something like that? Do we... I hate it. I hate the idea of it, but do we need clappers? Or some people have always said that some places sound more like they've got piped in noise anyway. So... Is that going to work? How, what's going to be feasible for you? How would you be comfortable with that? Do we need to do some things? I ain't going to delve into that because that one's going to be for another day once I've got a bit more voice and a bit more time and a bit more patience. At the moment, I'm getting a bit peed off with myself because I'm having to really struggle through this right now. And yes, that is vanilla cola that I am drinking. But... So what would your way to be? Would you, let's say, like change the music up a bit? Starting with a bit more thrash, give it a bit more classical. Because some people have said that something would be a bit better. Uh, so what would you do? Uh, come below. And if you are watching this and you are not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Bash that like. And if you've got any calm, bang it down below. I will leave it at that. So from me, it's... Peace.